We all remember Lilo Broncado. He was such a rising star, acted with De Niro, James Gandolfini, but his career came to a screeching halt one night when he was involved in a crime that ended with a police officer dead. Do you feel you got away with murder? No, I don't think, I don't feel that I've, you know, got away with murder. Many disagree. 5 a.m. December 10th, 2005. Off-duty New York police officer Daniel Enchautegui responded to what sounded like a break-in at a neighbor's home. The burglary erupted into a gunfight with Brancato and his accomplice, which ended with the officer shot dead. It was the kind of crime scene that no police officer wants to respond to, the killing of one of their own. Tell us exactly what happened. We went there that night to try to score some drugs. So I broke the glass and I was looking to enter the apartment to, uh, to get drugs. The break-in, Lilo says, was to steal Tylenol with codeine. He was addicted to crack cocaine and heroin. The pills were a way to manage the addiction. I was walking back to the car. I heard a, a strange and unfamiliar voice say, don't move. Um, and I was startled. So I turned around and I was shot. I was shot twice. Lilo was struck twice in the chest. His accomplice, Stephen Armento, was shot four times. According to the police, Armento, now serving a life sentence, fired first, striking the officer near his heart. Officer Enchautegui returned fire after he was mortally wounded. And what was your reaction when you found out that you had been a part of a cop killing? I mean, I started crying. I was terrified. I couldn't believe that my, you know, my actions, my drug addiction, contributed to something, you know, that serious. The tragedy made even more sensational because Lilo Brancato had appeared for two seasons on The Sopranos before meeting a brutal end, shot coincidentally while playing a wannabe thug. Tony, please, Tony, please. Yeah, I know. Stay in school, get two educations. I know. That's right. This is my life, not yours. This is not for you. No guns. Robert De Niro and Chaz Palmenteri's 1993 film A Bronx Tale discovered 16-year-old Lilo in an open casting call and made him a star. The theme of the the film is is wasted talent. You know, very ironic that I played the part in the movie and then in real life wasted my talent. Because he was unarmed, a jury found Lilo guilty of a burglary charge, and he served eight years before being released New Year's Eve. While in prison, Lilo took a correspondence course, earning an associate's degree in business. There's not a day that goes by that I don't think about that night, and how I wish I could change its outcome. Is it better to be loved or feared? I would rather be feared. Uh, oh. Because fear lasts longer than love.